my people, what's going on? We back at it again, and I'm here with my beautiful co-host. What's up, Teddy? What's up, Papa? How you doing? I'm all right. How are you? I'm here. I'm good. Me and my bowl of Honey Nut Cheerios are doing well. So, (laughs) let's talk about... It's an old topic. Um, it's 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 probably dead in the water. But I recently seen a uh, another video, a rehash video of um, of Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith with this whole red table entanglement thing. And I was looking at it, and she annoyed me. She annoyed the hell out of me. And I'm sure she's getting on a lot of people's nerves right now. But she annoyed me because, um, you know. The way she was trying to make her, the way she continues to try to make her husband seems like he's the one that's not being open and he's the one being nuts, you know. Um, and it, it's to me, I've heard for years that they're a couple that swings or they bring people into their bedroom for um, for a spice. And, you know, that's fine. But I think the problem with this entanglement is that not only was it not he not a part of it um that was one of your children's friends and uh and i think that's the problem he had with it it was twofold it was that he wasn't a part of it number one and number two um that was one of their children's friends and i think for swingers that's that that that's <laughs> That's definitely a line in the sand. That just is something that you just don't do. So, what's your take on what I said, Nana? What's your take? <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Oh wow. Okay. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Because oh. you like, listen. So here's the thing. We started talking about this before, and yeah, you know, the, the issue was, or the thing was, I don't think she's trying to make Will feel anyway. I think, I think that the conversation, like how the conversation came up, from my understanding, because I watched them talk about this on the red table, um, you know, red whatever they do, um, was that people were saying like Will didn't know about it. And so the reason I think that they came up to address it, why they decided to have this, because he knew about it, right? So it's like, oh, you know, people were, you know, the media, you know, whatever it is, was like, oh, we, you know, you, we're telling him something that he don't know. So he knew about it. And that was the, the, the cause of the um, conversation. So I don't think that she was trying to make him feel any type of way. I don't know, like I've never heard before you mentioned today about them having like this swinger mentality. I've never heard one of them say it because, see, I'm a firm believer in um, unless this uh, a celebrity uh, validates, you know, what the media says. I don't care if the media says that this is what they do. I don't assume that to be true. Actually, I assume everything the media says is a lie until <laughs> until the celebrity cosign lies 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 because i I remember when i was younger my mother used to read the star magazine yeah and um i always said to myself you know uh the 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 the, on the cover might be oh so and so had an uh an abortion or they had a miscarriage and i used to say at a really young age uh so they had their miscarriage and the first thing they did was call the star or the inquirer like okay so <laughs> right. right so unless a celebrity co-signs to an event um and the media says you know they're swingers they bring five and six people into their beds yeah unless they say yeah we do um i'm not i'm not into i'm not into that whole believing that so I, one, I don't think that she was trying to make Will feel any kind of way. Um, and, you know, I, I liked that he actually called her out. So I don't think that she was trying to make him feel a way. I think that she was making, um, trying to make the situation less for those of us outside the marriage. Because obviously, he they know, right? Um, and Will called her out on it. He's like entanglement. No, yeah, it was that's more what he looked at it. He was like entanglement, Jada, right? Entanglement, right. 
Right. Because, all right, it was more than an entanglement. And the other thing, like I, I yeah, said, you said you, relationship. I, that's what you had, not an entanglement. Right. And that's really so that, you know, don't don't uh, minimize the way this young man felt for you and, and, and how you may or may not have felt for him. I don't know. They didn't they didn't go into that. But that's what the conversation openly that they had was where she was calling an entanglement and he was looking at her sideways going like, you know, really, um, you know, it was it was more than that. Right. Right. And, if, and, it, and it wasn't just for him, because you know, unless that's what you're truly saying, that it was an entanglement. I mean, and, 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 and then in the grand scheme of things, then it's like because we know this person. It's kind of like if you took that attitude to somebody that you don't know, it's a little bit different because you're basically basically using that person to, you know, for your own needs and your own wants. But when it's somebody, you know, a friend to your children and you use this person because you're calling an entanglement, which basically means it was a jump off for you. But this person might have had feelings for you because they were in an emotional state when you had your entanglement with him. Right. You know, and that's that's kind of shitty. Well, that's why I think he called her out on it. He he called her out on the shittiness of her um, definition of of what the situation actually was. Right. Um, but I I started laughing because you know you're like <laughs> yeah. I think that's a when you said you know among the swinger worlds you know like going you know if if, if we swing together. Mm -hmm swinging if yes. you if we don't swing together if you swing without me it's cheated yes absolutely um right but uh, it, okay right so is that something you know for a fact is that something that you would have if you were a swinger, do i have experience in that okay well all right tell the truth and shame the devil i'm listening <laughs> <laughs> i don't I'm listening. <laughs> Oh, okay. I don't have personal experience. Yeah. Am I curious about it? Yes. You know, yeah, do I, what? What? <laughs> yeah, I am. And and would I would I try it at least once to see how I felt about it? Yes, I would. Um, mm -hmm. But I personally know. Um, I'm gonna say I've met two people, and I know one person in my that that's that's a friend of mine now that does swing with their wife. Um, oh really? And I don't and think I, you've ever told me that. Well, you know, you can't be telling everybody's business. But um and Do I know the person? No, you don't. You don't know. Right. You've so never you wouldn't have been like you were telling me their business. Well, when I start talking, you may uh you may recall like things, but that I'm I'm sure like, I've um, talked about it with you at least once. Um, Look, like, so when I meet him, I'm going to be like, oh, these are the swingers. Like, oh, so these, you know, shit. Oh, these, these, oh, no, no, no. Definitely oh, okay. don't right. want that. But right. I know you, I know you know how to act. You know, you, you're, you're, Mostly, yes. you're better than that, you know. Yes. Why the hell is this thing acting like, <sighs> oh, God damn. All right. So. The, you know people personally somebody yeah, mm -hmm. personally okay. and i and i met somebody in my travels that uh, i've had entanglements with <laughs> in the past <laughs> okay. that was into that female that was mm -hmm. into that and it was like okay and we had the conversations and talked about it but obviously we never got into that so um yes so speaking of my friend who does it and he breaks it down to me, you know, and tells me, you know, what the what the rules are. And it's not just his rules. It's like, you know, kind of rules of engagement for that community. You know, there's okay. always a conversation to be had before you engage in that kind of those kind of activities. Nothing. Okay. It, nobody is blindsided. You don't go into a situation like that when you're bringing people into your bedroom and multiple partners and stuff like that. And don't have a conversation because too much can happen if you don't have a conversation. You know, okay. I mean, I suppose that, you know, I mean, they, they, they actually have stricter rules than one on one monogamous people who do things one on one there. They have rules, you know, and um, and the conversation is paramount to like, you know, what you're going to do, what you can, what you can't, what the safe words are um, and to, to keep it without getting deep. In, what happened? Come quad. Come quad. That's your that's your safe word. Come quad. No, it, 
it was on. You Stop know, beating your sh- ass you, when you say calm quad. I'm about to show in your eye. You're so what, rude. What? 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 You ain't say that. What you say? Calm. What? <laughs> Brian, <laughs> what? No. What? Wait a minute. What you call me? What, <laughs> what you say? I, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you're so stupid. Okay, I'm sorry. <clears throat> what are you crocheting? You, you you keep looking down. Like, what are you, are you working? No, I'm not working. What are you doing? What difference does it make? You said I didn't have to be looking at the camera. Yeah, but what are you doing? Oh, oh, I'm I'm on my left. I'm on my um iPad. Okay. Anyway. Do I have but your I'm attention? To, you, and wait a minute, and you have my attention. My therapist just said, hey, I'm sorry, I need to cancel today. Is this the one that you were going to go through at 2.30? At 2, yeah. Oh. So look, so, so that, I guess we're, so not under, we're not in a rush then, I guess. We're not in under any time constraints. Okay, very good. So, to continue. Yes, my love. Um... The stricter rules. There's stricter which, rules in the swinger community than they are in the heterosexual community. Yes, there are. Um, so, or I should say the monogamous community because, you know, be, being a swinger can run the gamut. I mean, you know, just because you're a swinger doesn't mean you're into gay shit, you know. Just, if you're a swinging male, it doesn't mean that you're going to be touching dudes. And quite frankly, it could be that for females too. You're a swinging female. That don't necessarily mean you're going to be touching other females or even letting them touch you for that fact. Right. You know, you may just get off as a female, get off watching your man get off with somebody else. Like, okay, we could do it together, but don't touch me. And I think that's what most, <laughs> I think that's what most heterosexual swinger dudes are on. They're like, look, okay, we're gonna do this, or like, even if it's like, okay, I'm gonna share my wife with you and stuff like that. But yo, you go over there, and I'm over here. Okay, <laughs> turn your ass around, baby. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I I would think you know because it's, it's like I've heard it said that they um when you see those porn videos and you got the uh, the uh, you know two guys and one girl and they be like double penetration and and all of that and. For me, from my perspective, I'm like, yo, that's a little too close. That dude's balls is way too close to my balls. Like, you know. <laughs> God, I can't with you. Oh, like, I ain't really? sign on for that. I'm like, you know, I might get off because I do enjoy porn and stuff like that. And, you know, and I may get off seeing somebody else do you would do somebody else. But why his balls got to touch mine? You know, I'm I can't. Like, I can't. You are the most. You know, most so without even knowing, I know that's where my line is. Like, I don't want no guy's balls smacking on mines you know period um so you know i don't know babe if, if, if your desire is dp then one of those one, one of those participants gonna have to be a dildo or something you know I mean, <laughs> 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 but um oh my god you are so funny <laughs> but there's so rules funny. there 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 are rules and basically those entanglement rules to get to stick to the core of our conversation are we agree to bring this person in our bedroom together okay and unless i give you permission you cannot see that third person without my okay because if you do it's a betrayal it's considered cheating because you want to develop a personal relationship with this person and that's not what about our relationship is supposed to be mutual and it's supposed to be monogamous between us you know the physical things we do we share is whatever we do that's what we do but our relationship is monogamous you cannot go out and have another relationship with somebody else that we've had a threesome with that's cheating so that's basically the rules in a nutshell right but in this case if we look at will and jada i don't believe that that was the, the case that, that you know they that it, it they absolutely was this, the case that they swung with this boy no then, no they and, didn't she just had the entanglement that she it with, 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 her, with her with, with, with her it was now you know what okay you ask an interesting question you know and that's something that'll probably never be answered unless she wants to blow the spot up did they in fact have a threesome with this young man because it's still a betrayal for him if she had an entanglement with him after they had a threesome, but they never divulged that. So that very well may be the case. Now, if that is the case, then that's just, okay, you broke swinger protocol, right? 
if she if he never had a threesome with them and she just had her entanglement then that was just straight up cheating unless okay. unless their relationship was they were allowed to have outside relationships which is what i've always heard they had an open relationship right but we don't know that that's true um i don't recall ever seeing either one of them saying that's what they do right so like i said i'm 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 gonna Unless one of them confirms or denies those allegations, I cannot buy into it. So I and, and I think this is what he was saying. It wasn't it wasn't an entanglement. It was a relationship. Mm-hmm. So I'm and 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 you know, uh I think I would say hesitantly she agreed that it was a relationship. Um She did, she admitted so, it. Yeah, she she did. So that's what I'm saying. It's like you know we can, you know, I don't. It, it, it was a relationship. That's what it was. So I'm I'm not going to the whole. You know, you know it could have been a. You know they could have been swinging. They could have been. I don't know. But yes, she had a relationship with this young man. I did not know it was a friend of the chil the oh, children. Oh yeah, the children. It was a really. Mm-hmm. Which is um, which I think was like a serious bitch. It's like why? Why would you do that to you know one of our children's you know friends? It's like yo, you're 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 Jada Pinkett. You can have any man you want. Why that? Why this young man? That had a friend of our one of our children. And I, I, I right. think no one might have actually put those into words, and he may not have put it into words. But for, I would do. You know, say like, why? You know, certain people do things, and you shake your head, and you're like, okay. You know, it's not a matter of why did you do it, but it's like, but you got a choice of you. You got your pick of the lot. Why this person to make it? Well, why make it so sloppy by doing it with this person that's so close to our inner circle? Well, so, oh gosh, um, this is how I feel about that. Mm-mm. I don't, you know, your your emotions are your emotions, right? Yeah. And we can assume that. She did it, you know, whatever she did to him in terms of like, you know, you turned this little boy out. But we don't know that that's the case. I don't think he was. Well, he wasn't underage. I don't think that's the issue. I don't think it was a matter of him not being of legal age to consent to sex. I don't think that was Mm. the issue. Um so when we say that, that's just, you know, because old people, we do that sometimes. You know, we take young adults and we, you know, because for us, it's like, yeah, it doesn't matter if I'm 40 and you're 20. In our eyes, you a baby, you know. But he was a grown man. Right. So I, I don't I don't believe that she um, forced herself on him. I don't say um, force. The, 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 the words were used weren't forced. It was take advantage of the situation the, the mental but state that this young that? person was in not right. so much that you know she you know she didn't turn him out you know what i'm saying but how do we know that that's what happened we don't we don't know the emotional state of either one of them yeah you said before that you know he came into their lives and they were mentoring him or helping him get through whatever he was going and yeah, giving him career Early advice and stuff like life. that because he's an r&b singer i believe or something along those lines you know and, and, none, and neither one of them are r&b singers so he's a rapper okay. same world okay um put it this way if anybody was going to help when they say career advice I think the real advice would come from Will Smith as opposed to her. You know what I'm saying? Because he's the one that's done it all. He's the right. one that has a music career and he's the one who has a acting career. Whereas right. Jada only has the acting career, you know. Right. And it's not to belittle her, you know, because no, 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 no. she her star is not as big as Will's, but she's been successful. You know, and she still yes. continues she, to get roles and I believe there's a yes. few movies coming up that she's in and stuff like that. So she's she's you know, she's done her thing on her level. She does what she does. Right. Right, right. So that's why I'm saying like you know, I, yes, we can say that she took advantage of a situation. I mean, but we don't know that that's actually true. Do we? I mean, we don't. Okay. You know, he he, he could have played on her need for whatever it is she needed at the time, whatever it is that he provided at the time. And, and that... You, 
and and that's the way it was. It's funny because I remember, and this may be another topic um, that we broach, but I remember when Whitney Houston and Bobby Brown were together and everybody was like, oh, Bobby's got her taking cocaine. No, she's the cocaine. She was taking cocaine before he even had his first line. Right. She was doing cocaine. Before he could say, but listen, she, she was doing cocaine before he could say coke. And everybody was blaming him. She was doing coke before he said, Mr. Telephone Man. She was already. <laughs> right. So. she He didn't turn her out. Which, that annoyed right. me too at the beginning where they were making her like, oh, he was the bad boy. Because in everybody's right. mind, they wanted Whitney Houston to be, you know, America's sweetheart. And you know what? Uh, far from it, you know. What Whitney Houston got down with that model. Yeah, she got uh, down with life. the goddamn. She probably was getting down with it before even she was singing because she was a model first, so she was already around it, you know. And of course, like most performers and stuff like that, drugs are part of rock and roll. And uh, you know, I mean, it's not to judge people that do it; it's part of their world no. or whatever. You just have to, you know, you know, right. navigate it or whatever. But she was doing her thing now. Some people would argue and say she's the one that turned him out, but I think he probably found his own way to drugs through his own yeah. thing. Because New Edition were in their own world, and they, you know, not for nothing. Whitney Houston may have sold more albums than New Edition and stuff like that, but uh, you know, little girls chasing her at the mall and little girls chasing Bobby Brown at the mall is two different things, and that's the kind of life New Edition had, where women were chasing them down the street and. Let's so their, their lives were, I think, you know, just a little more rock and roll hectic than Whitney Houston's was. Okay, total sidebar, because that's what we do. I remember 100 years ago. <laughs> sidebar! <laughs> I remember segment. 100 years Sidebar ago. Sidebar segment. <laughs> Shiny Sidebar ball. Segment. Uh, scroll moment. Uh, where we... Will you stop it? Um... <laughs> I was in the walkathon. Remember, they used to have this the walkathon. Oh, please don't do that. But we would they would have the walkathon, and one year, New Edition hosted the the, the walkathon. Okay. Um, oh, and boy, here we go. This is the this and, is the Vogue fan people. But go ahead. Okay. Okay. Mm-mm. So. Um, yeah. Did y'all hear that noise? Did y'all hear that? Did Did y'all hear that? <laughs> All right. Why don't you stop being that, 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 that? Yeah. That, that was her body. That was her body no, responding no, to the mention of. <laughs> Of, of um Ronnie DeVoe. No, it's not that serious. I told you. Anyway. Mm. So um see you made me forget what oh. So anyway. She driving me I will out walk of in on this line. Mind. Go ahead. <laughs> you listen, you know I'm gonna stop talking in a minute. Go ahead, Nana. I'm okay. sorry. So we're walking like and the walkathon was like the whole of Manhattan. I mean, like we literally walked the whole of Manhattan and And I think this was probably my second time doing it. And all of a sudden you hear this screaming. And the screaming is New Edition is hanging out the limo and um, and the girls are, you know, loving it, having fun, you know, screaming. And it was funny because at the time I didn't like New Edition. And um, I was like, they are, I mean, and chasing the limo. It was mm. just what you said. Yeah. Chase these girls. Ch- Wait a minute, and chasing them in the opposite direction. Damn. And I'm going, I mean, damn, if I'm running backwards, I think, uh. I'm going to stop right now. <laughs> okay. Um, so, and at the time, like I said, I didn't like New Edition. And I was like, I'd be damn if I was chasing them. Um, mm. And like fast forward a couple of years, I probably would have chased them or I would have flagged down the cab. <laughs> no, I would have flagged down the cab. <laughs> Too much. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna chase him, but not on foot. Like follow yeah, that limo. <laughs> follow that limo. Okay. <laughs> um, but I, I, you know, I, I sidebar that to say uh, with Whitney and Bobby, it's easy to make assumptions about people's life that we don't know about. So, like I said, she maybe you know he took advantage of her emotional state and and maybe recognizing or seeing a need. That she needed to, you know, that she needed to have filled or whatever the case was. Right. We can't make the assumption that she, you know, yes, you know, should have been one of the kids' friends. I mean, that's the crazy part. When you when your kids get older, you know, and they, and they bring home people or, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just not going to make any assumptions. I'm going to go with what they said. Um, 
I don't know if they swing and if she broke the swingers code. Um, I don't have anything against people who swing. Um, I, you know, I, I, uh, you know, that's not on my bucket list. <laughs> oh, okay. That was going to be my next question, but okay. Cause I Listen. had the ball to set. Like, I mean, I would be interested to try <clears throat> my personal life to see what it's all about and see what the sensations are. And if it's something I could wrap my head around, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm not so against it that I wouldn't try it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I have no idea how I would feel about it. Once I'm in that situation, the closest I've come to situations like that is actually being in a room with other people, you know, while you're doing your thing as a, you know, really young person, you know, just, really? you know, oh yeah, high school type shit. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. No. Um. We, interesting. You know, we, no. We were some freaks. You know what I'm saying? Go and get the uh, <laughs> the <laughs> as we used to call them the swaybacks, and uh, you know, and you, you having a hooky party and playing around after school and stuff like that. Oh, and sometimes you and your friends. Yeah. I mean, you kids, you don't care. You like you know, when when the, when the time to get some buns strikes, you ain't got no time for. It. Let me go get a candle. Oh, hold on. I'll be right back. No, you better get that right then and there when you're a teenager. So it's like that, that was the kind of situation. Oh, it's like, because mm-hmm. even if you messing with a girl and she's looking at you kind of like, eh, and everything, you be like, yo, come on, ma, ba, 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 ba. And she goes, well, all right. You better get it right then when she goes, well, all right. Because we be like, all right, hold on. Let me go get a washcloth. And, yo, that's her time to escape. But like, no. So if you're in a room and there's other people there, you get it in right there, right then. Like most yeah. people gonna do is like, yo, we're gonna slide to the corner here. I'm gonna go and we're gonna lay here behind the couch or we're gonna go in the closet or we're gonna do something like that. But we we, we no. Ain't no going to the bathroom, ain't no oh we gonna get a drink, let me get a, a washcloth. Like no. Right now, yo. Yeah, okay, you agree. Let's go now. <laughs> So yeah. that's why I found myself in situations like that because it literally was just like that. You had a room full of people and it was even like, you know, you know, you making out with girls and swapping them because that's whatever. However, that happened. And swapping like, them. Yeah. That like I said, I'm on, this, this 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 scenario I'm painting for you. The swap scenario happened only once in my lifetime. Wow. And that was like kind of like, and I wasn't caught, and it was kind of a peer pressure thing because I was kind of like. Ugh, it's kind of yucky, but you know what? Uh, I'm young and I'm just getting it, so okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like kissing and grinding and stuff like that, not not, not necessarily uh, boning. And oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So no. tell them so my I, age, boning. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was gonna say that, but I was like, okay. Um. Yeah. So no, I I don't. I am not in. I am not into the swing. I don't want to swing. Okay. Um. It's not something that I'm interested in. Yeah. Okay. No, and that's all good. It's all mm-hmm. good. But just know, there's rules to this shit. <laughs> <laughs> for people who think swinging is just that like okay you just go in there and go the bull in a china shop and do what you know you ain't doing what you want is a conversation for every act you see and for every it's good i mean it's akin to you know not not in the, the, the worst sense of the word or the or the the, the um cross exp- explanation i'm going to give porn you, you don't go into porn and man and woman going to make a porn tape and stuff like that. And it's like, okay, unless they agree, surprise me. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, quan- contrary to, to a lot of people's beliefs, you know, it, it ain't every porn actress female that's going to allow anal. And a lot of them flat out say they do not do anal because it's not their preference. So they will not perform anal for money. And shit, pray tell, not even porn, um, anal in their private lives because it's not something they're into. Now, they may be into spitting and sloppy, toppy and all that other stuff, and it's all good for them, you know, to, to, to do, or, you know, um, like two men, one in, the, one in the front and one in the back, you know, like, you know, giving top and getting smashed. And, you know, that that's about as far as they'll go. Or it could be multiple partners, like, okay, Okay, you may top off two, three, four person persons in a video, or whatever, and they may, you know, into you vaginally at the same time. But I mean, not at the same time, but you know, multiple <laughs> partners, you know, like gangbang style, running a train like that. Ugh. But they'll mm-hmm. still be like, hold on, you can't put it in my butt <laughs> because that's not what they into. <laughs> that's funny. You can sleep with six dudes. Hold on, 
But you can't put it in my butt. Oh, yeah. Now you're taking it. Everything else? Look, now you, look, now you're taking it too far. Now you're taking shit too far. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can't. Uh. <laughs> no, but there's but there's a there's a conversation that has to be had because anything else, um, being that we talking about porn, could be rape. If you go in to film a scene and you say, Okay, you meet the person and they usually talk and try to get a rapport going or whatever and everything to try to put some heat to the scene, some chemistry, and then mm -hmm. um if if the female says, Okay, so no anal and i'm only doing this scene with you and they say great uh and then you start filming all of a sudden five guys running there and then they want to go and you know and, and take our butt and everything that's basically rape i did not agree to this so what i'm a porn star i did not agree to that that's rape the same would be held i would say for a prostitute too if you go up to a prostitute and you know and you make an agreement to have vaginal sex and to have oral sex and agree on a payment and great and y'all go to a hotel room and all of a sudden you bring four of your buddies to go do what you want. What if that's rape? You know, she agreed to take your money for you and do what y'all discuss. Not what, you know, not for you to just come on and bring everybody on in. There's rules to that shit, you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, I mean, and that's common sense. That shit, I think that's common sense for decent people in society. That's common sense. Oh my God! You said there are rules for decent people in the society. In society, there's rules for yeah, and I put emphasis on that on decent people. There's rules where, okay. regardless of what your freaky nature is and tendencies are, there's rules to everything. You don't just get to do what you want. Honor among thieves. Honor among thieves. That's right, Nana. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have anything more to add to that, Nana? You, you know what I find funny? What's and that? we've had this conversation before about how, you know, we grew up in the same era. Yes. Um, but our experiences were so vastly different. Um, well, basically, you're a girl and I'm a guy. That's the really? first one. Because, no. Yeah. I saw your dick the other day. Your shit was kind of. Mm. <laughs> He was kind of packing, but <laughs> okay. No, but <laughs> we're different. Wow. You're a fit. That's the first wow. one. No, but, but that's that's the raging top. Uh, one of the raging topics today on the internet, um, the internets, um, the red pill topic about men and women and the lines of respect and stuff like that. And, you know, and, and embracing you know what you what you are. And those differences can be glaring. So, as I was saying, because I guess, yes, to, to answer your question, but I mean, in terms of our um, experience and the things that you were doing with your friends, as opposed to the things that I was doing with my friends. Yeah. I um, think we would have a conversation. You know what? Let me write that down. <laughs> <laughs> Let me write that down. Things what do you we did. As teenagers, do you know how to spell teenagers? <laughs> there's two e's in there. Yes. Well, maybe there's three. There's actually three, it's, but you know, yeah. it's, it's two teens in there. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Look, my public school work just like your public school work did in Brooklyn. That's right. You better know it. The, um, the second glamour difference was I represent Queen. She was raised out in Brooklyn. Whatever. Um, as I was saying, that there were things that you, you know, things that you tell me and that you have done um, that I'm shocked that anybody our age was doing that. And you're shocked that that I wasn't. I'm not shocked that you wasn't because I think that most teenagers don't do like if I, when we have this conversation about things we done did as teenagers to to see what the differences are even though we could be the same age and be from the same era but the experiences were different we were doing a lot of things that our peers weren't doing uh when um when we were in high school i mean there's certain mm -hmm. things like i'm just off the top of my head without getting too deep in it like the trips that we would take and stuff like that and you know we would um we we would go to harlem in the, in the middle of the night and stuff like that and go and go to these um these uh 
these these after hour dive you know bars or what we, social clubs and stuff like that because one of our friends had a father who um owned clubs and stuff like that and we would mm-hmm. go to these places where the pimps and the hustlers were hanging out and stuff like that and catch these underground shows mm-hmm. um and in and, and also we had this thing where we uh we like to hang out in limousines you know so what we would do is we'd pool our money and we would rent limousines and then we would ride around the limousines just for the fun of it just to do it see um and that wasn't something um that we were doing at all <laughs> but i mean yeah um so you're saying that even though that the, that what you guys were doing was the exception and not the rule for our I, and i don't even say that to say that no what we're doing is not the exception it's just different experiences I mean, you got other kids. God knows what other kids were doing. Um, you know, I mean, even when I look at my kids today and I look at the differences of what some kids do versus what some other kids do. I mean, it's just something simple as like, okay, I mentioned there's a rifle club in my kids' high school. So you got kids and they like the whole schools in a rifle club. It's those kids. Then you got football players. You got, you know, kids got different activities and then they do different things after school to entertain themselves. So every kid's upbringing, there's similarities. There's certain mm-hmm. things that they have in common, um, but um, every kid's experience is different, you know. And how, so we were talking about sex, and when you talk about the sexual things that we were doing, it's like, well, you know, we were men, you know, all boys are horny, and we acted on it. Right, but when I would tell you what I didn't do as a teenager, you had difficulty believing that. One thing, <clears throat> name one thing. Oh my God, are you serious right now? One thing. Um, I don't say sex because every teenager doesn't have sex. I know that. Right. But when I told you that I didn't, you had a problem with that. I did not have a... Why you say problem? No, no, no. I didn't have okay, a problem, problem with Problem is it. the wrong word. Problem is the wrong word. Oh, my God. Oh, my, oh my God. I'm sorry. Yeah, I should name it. You're right. It was not a problem. You did not believe me. Even I before. know that's still the wrong word. What do you mean? Didn't believe you when you say, "Oh, well, I would." I think what I what I didn't uh-huh. believe is I said, "Like, really? You never gave a guy a hand job or like grinded on somebody or rub somebody's you know penis through his pants or some things like teenagers do? You touch and kind of poke and walk and run away? Like, you never did none of that." But that's not what I said. I hadn't ever done. It was the actual, the physical act of. So you have you you done petting and stuff like that in high school? I told I told you that I'm gonna say I don't know I think I was I, I was that might have mm. been before high school, <laughs> but no. Um, Damn, before high school? I, well, I shouldn't say that because I've been sniffing around girls since elementary school. Okay, hello. Um, no, I said right. I didn't say it wasn't that I I hadn't. But the act of intercourse, I had not done. And you just could not Sex. believe that. Right, fine. You did not believe that. I, 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 no, I, I don't believe that was my response. That I, oh, oh, I can't believe God. you didn't have sex in high school. Like, everybody oh was God, doing it. Are you kidding that. me? No. no. Okay. Right. I, I don't recall having that reaction. No. Mm-hmm. I don't believe that. You ain't give up the cheeks in high school. Every girl gives up the cheeks in high school. Yeah, right. No, I know that's not true. I think you know it now, but you didn't know it when we was having that conversation. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, Come on. Like, Listen. Really? What? Yo, because why are you acting like you? Look, why are you acting brand new? <laughs> I ain't acting brand new. Yo, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. That, look, that's gonna be another topic because. Uh, what would be, what mean, would be the name of that topic? Why are you lying? <laughs> why are you lying about your high school sexual activity? Why why are you lying about your no. high school head count? No. Was no. that the topic? The high school head count? No. Um, um, being a virgin, mm-hmm. and when you don't believe that people are virgins, even though you know their story, and blah blah blah. When you don't believe people are virgins. <laughs> Come on. You listen. Oh, 
And you're going to tell me, you told me that you didn't believe that. And then you told me why you didn't believe that. And then you had to take, and then I had to tell you what I had told you since I've known you 3,800 years ago. Mm -hmm. No comments? No. We leave that, yeah. we'll leave that alone for this entanglement you got nothing? conversation. Um, you got nothing? You have nothing? Okay. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, look, so how do we end this entanglement conversation that became so many other things? As, as what our conversations did, as always go, which is why go. we're doing this. Always. Right? Always. That's why we're doing this because this is what our conversations, conversation. literally, people, this is how our conversations go. And this is why we are doing, the, uh, doing these videos because we have these engaging conversations and we come up with topics and this is how we talk off camera this is how we talk on the phone and we've had a friendship of over 30 years and this is always how our conversations go you know, it, 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 it hasn't stopped it's always been that way like these conversations Listen, we talking about love life this that and the other politics, going to the supermarket going to the supermarket getting annoyed with our children and we could well when you're having a normal conversation like everybody does when you have a conversation it just goes where it wants to go right and now that we're doing this purposely for you to share who we are, we still do it that way. It's like, uh, because we come in, we have a small conversation before we record to say, hey, you know, what do you want to talk about? Let's talk about this. Okay. And we know it could easily be a 30 minute conversation, easily, just one topic, even if we stayed on course, one topic, but it never stays that way. It always goes. We start talking about bologna sandwiches and somehow we end up on going to the moon or something crazy, you know? <laughs> like one time, like the time you, you mentioned the Illuminati in the conversation, and I still couldn't figure You're out. You're still like, okay, why. Illuminati. Why did you bring up Illuminati? And why I'm like, I was well, like, let me tell you. <laughs> and then I had another 30 minute tirade, and she's still going, like, okay, so Illuminati. <laughs> why are we talking yeah, about the Illuminati? I was so confused. And then I'm like, I just, I just needed to know where it fit in. And he was like, um, yeah, so the reason I mentioned the Illuminati is because when you sear in chicken to make rice and peas, and I was like, what the? So I let him finish, and I don't generally interrupt. I let him finish, and then when he finished, I said, so why did you mention the Illuminati? Because I'm so confused. And, you know, he, ne he never even answered that, and it's okay. I let it go because you never answered that how the Illuminati came into the picture, but it's okay. But those are the things that we do. Yeah. Fortunately, unfortunately, I mean, however you want to look at it, yeah. which actually, I think that the thing is we amuse, we amuse ourselves. <laughs> because Pretty much. We, like, if we saw the other people doing the things that we do, we would be like, what's wrong with them? Mm -hmm. so, oh my gosh. Or right. as we hope you guys are finding us entertaining, uh, yeah. Yeah. If I were to come across people like us that talk the way we talk, I mean, because, all right, I genuinely find, like, I'll say, you know, um, have a conversation with Gramps, and she's like, you know, she genuinely makes me laugh. Like, you know, you know, in our personal lives and we talk and the things that come out to this woman's mouth, it just like, yo, has me holding my stomach sometimes. Like, you know, like, why are you saying these things like why is your brain tuned like that you know and but it's just hilarious you know the, the, the places that her mind goes sometimes and that's what i enjoy about our conversations you know i mean she makes me laugh so it's like you know and you know someone knowledgeable she's knowledgeable about things she doesn't even know she's knowledgeable about and i'm i'm sure the same is for me you know there's things and i'll go somewhere and i go why all right so where did i get that from like how do i know that I don't know. I just know. I don't know. I just know. Some things are intuitive, you know. You know, it's just innate. You know, you know, you just uh -oh. know. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, I dug. That was I, a good I, one. I dug down into my brain berry for that one. <laughs> I know. You better go ahead, Papa. Mm, all right. Everything ain't fuck out my mouth. Everything ain't fucking <laughs> shit. <laughs> Even though ninety five percent of it is, but you know, I got some vocabulary. Before I've got some vocabulary. 
yes, like a couple conversations ago I had said something really cruel not really crude and and I think that's what you use like that's so crude that's so uh like you rolled your yes. eyes like oh that's so uh. <clears throat> <laughs> but okay but believe it or not that's really one of the things that drew me to you mm-hmm. is your crudeness and and i was saying to somebody uh it ain't rough, do, it ain't right when we were thinking about doing the men's talk and i was like listen nobody better ask um rock a question that they don't want the answer to and he's not going and he's not going to use lube so <clears throat> You gonna get it how you get it, and if you come, if and if they come, if they, you know, if they react to it a certain way, I'm gonna react. So you need to make, you know, you need to let everybody know. Don't ask a question that you don't want the answer to, because if you try to get disrespectful with Rock, you gonna have to deal with Ted. Yeah, well, and I would leave that to you. Uh, but I don't think in that scenario it would be a matter of disrespect of anything. Like if you can't take the harsh answers, you know, we were going to be on this panel. Um, of, of, um, I was going to be on a panel of men. There was a therapist friend of ours that was going to um, have an event where, where her clients who were having man issues got to speak to men um, and got an unbiased, um, un, you know, unrefined response to their questions about our mentality. So, um, you know, for me and I, you know, I already know what kind of questions, you know, were, were likely to come and stuff like that. And I would answer them the same way I'd answer it to Ted. If Ted asked me a question, I'm going to give it raw dog because, I mean, the way I go about it is like, why sugarcoat it? You know, and it's not a matter of like, oh, well, I'm using curse words because I don't have the words to you know, truly express how um, I feel. No, that's not true. It's just that sometimes you need to. That's how you need to communicate sometimes, you know, to, to drive the point home um, to somebody that needs, you know, an answer. Because if you continue, continue to be, for lack of putting it a better way, civilized and always using a feather instead of a hammer, you know, that nail may never get in if you continue to try to put it in with a feather. Sometimes you need a hammer to get that. All times you need a hammer <laughs> to get a nail He's into stupid. something. But when you talk to people, yeah, a hammer is not always required. But if we're sitting down and we're having this conversation like that, so somebody already tried to use a feather <laughs> and the feather didn't work. So, yeah. 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 And the other thing was it was the opportunity maybe you're not having man problems but it was the opportunity for to ask a man a question and um yeah. the the premise of that was like you know when we have generally when women have issues with their men they speak to their girlfriends about it mm-hmm. their women's friends um but i found that like i have guy friends so if i had an issue a guy issue my first call wouldn't be to my girlfriend. It would be to my guy friend <clears throat> because I want to hear it from the man's perspective. Cause like right now I think this dude is crazy. Mm-hmm. Is he crazy or is it me? <clears throat> right. So this was going to be that opportunity for women to ask men questions that he, you know, that they want to ask and they don't want to ask the person that they're in a relationship with. Right. Um, but yeah, that that was the opportunity to do that. But but again, my thing was going to be, if you don't ask a question that you don't want the answer to, because you're going to get the answer, and if your reaction is disrespectful, I am going to have to check you. Yeah. Period. All right, Poppy, what are you doing? Actually writing down a uh, topic for a future. Ooh, what's the topic? What's the topiki? Um, should friends of the opposite sex be allowed to visit the home when your spouse is not around? <laughs> okay, okay. You know, that, right. and, and that came up. Because the only reason I brought, I, that came to my mind because while we're talking about this thing with the... With the uh, the, the the round table with you know men and women where women get to ask the questions um mm-hmm. and uh, and that just popped in because that's you know 
yeah that that's something i got a opinion on that you know epiphany just living life and stuff like that and uh you know and you kind of realize that you know like see now our thing has been different because we've been friends all these years and we've both been in relationships with other people you know and had children and stuff like that the lines of respect have always been maintained during that time you know what i'm saying i ain't just rolling up to your crib you know like hey and your man like yo where the fuck this nigga come from and stuff like that you know what i'm saying and you know on my ex she always knew who you were you were introduced you know who she is she knows who you are you know and like many times during our relationship where it'd be like you know um hey like who was you talking to on the phone i'm talking to teddy on the phone oh okay tell her i said hello or whatever you know what i'm saying and like okay oh that's cool you know, and the, the one time that um, it was uh, that you came over to my crib where it was like she didn't necessarily know was when we recorded those songs, like kind of back in the days. But she came out and gave me a hug. You know, was she there that day? Yes, because. I don't even remember that. That's funny. <clears throat> she came out and she gave me a hug because um, it was right after we had helped. I had helped get the boys. Remember, the boys were going, they were flying on Delta. And they were going down you were south. Helping them get to their worried. father. Yes. Right. And helping them making sure that they got to letting you guys know, okay, they're they they landed in Atlanta. They da da da. Right. Um well, I think and it was she, North she Carolina came, or something. Gave me a hug. Yeah. Okay. So but so basically, yeah, that's gonna be the topic, you know, the 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 lines, you know, well, you know, okay, is it okay? Isn't it okay? And why isn't it? So yeah, that'll be a topic another day. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. That's uh, I have an opinion about that as well. Mm-hmm. All right, Nana. So um, I'm not sure where we at because my screen went into screensaver mode, so I don't have, uh, I don't, I don't see my timer on my my door for the recording of this. But I think we're about done with this topic, Nana. Do thank you so much once again for being such a the the the, the, the cutest, most smoothest skin host I've ever <laughs> had the pleasure of hosting with. Look at that lady. Thank look, you. look 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 at that lady's skin, people. Oh my, it, it's glowing, and she ain't got nothing on there. I can't think of nothing funny to say, but yo, that's like raw dog. <laughs> I put cocoa butter. <laughs> you put cocoa butter on your face today? I put cocoa butter on my face today. Oh. I always put cocoa butter on my oh, face. Oh, that's, that's, that's your routine, in typical? My, in my dry areas. We need to have a conversation about that too. Natural women versus this. See, you know, and I know you get down sometimes because you're a girly girl and you got your accessories and you got your wig wall and all of that, and which I laugh at you all the time about. Like, you got hair. Why are you putting the wig on? And then you got to break down the, the, the essence of it for me to explain why, which it made sense. But, you know, just initially, I don't know. I don't get it. Why would a woman with hair past our shoulders wear a wig? I don't know. I know now, but I didn't know before. And that's a topic for another day. Ooh, I hope that boy's smoothie machine ain't coming through this mic. Okay. <laughs> Downstairs making a smoothie and I can hear the damn blender going off. All right, All right. Nana Dude, thank you so much. Of course. Thank you. All right. Until next time. Deuces. Peace. <laughs>